All right, hello guys and welcome to a new tutorial series. Today we're gonna talk about how to write your own Discord bot in JavaScript. First off, we'll start with a few things you need. The first thing is called Node.js. Node.js is a JavaScript runtime, which is, as you can see, built on Chrome's V8 JavaScript engine. Um, it's basically works like a server, which makes it perfect for us to use for a Discord bot. You just go to the website that is nodejs.org and download the current version of it. Um, the link will be in the description below. All right, as soon as it's finished, you'll just double click it and the install will pop up. You just go ahead, hit next, <coughs> accept the terms, click next, change uh, the install path to whatever path you prefer, and go ahead and install it. So now it's finished. So we just click finish. And a uh, good thing about Node.js is um, it comes with something called NPM, which is some sort of package manager, allowing you to install every kind of module to your project that you like. One of those modules is called Discord.js which is the thing we are going to use. You'll find it on discord.js.org. <clears throat> and when you open up the website, the first thing you'll notice is this little command right here, which we'll go ahead, control copy. And then you would basically just create a new folder for your bot, open it up. Next up, you want to open up your command shell by typing Windows R CMD and navigate to your folder. All right. Now you have this little command copied. You want to paste it and hit up enter. And what this does is, as you can see right here, it's downloading some stuff right into your Discord bot node modules folder, in which you can see some more folders. One of this, those is Discord.js, which is the environment we're gonna use for our Discord bot. All right, good. So the next thing that we'll need to do for a Discord bot to work is create the bot itself. For that, we're going to go navigate to discord discordapp.com slash developers. Go to my apps and click on new app. Now you can just name your bot whatever you like. In this case, I'm going to name it Watson because I'm Sherlock and Watson is my assistant, so it's a bot. And you hit up create app. Then you have great success. Your sweet new application has been created successfully. Awesome. Now you scroll down to the bot thing and click create bot user. Yes, do it. What this does is it will give you the ability to uh, use a new sort of Discord account, as you may like, um, which will do just whatever we tell him to do. It has its own unique username and it has a token. The token is rather important because you need it to authenticate your bot within Discord.js. 
just make sure to never give it away to anybody. All right, now that we've done this, we're pretty much good to go. And we can start programming our own bot. And we can basically do this by hitting right mouse button, new, text document. But first we'll need to go to our control panel. Go to the file explorer options, view, scroll down, until you find hide extensions from known file types. You uncheck that, hit apply. Now we can see the .txt extension and we just call this bot.js. Yes. Now we're having this little JavaScript thing. I'm gonna go ahead, open it up with Atom, which is a pretty good text editor for programming in JavaScript. <clears throat> all right, and now all we have to do to get started with a bot is copy this example down here on the Discord.js website, paste it, hit Control and S to save it. Right here, we have to put in our token that we find down here. Click to reveal, copy the token, paste it down here, hit Control S, and basically your first bot for Discord is done. All we have to do to use it is invited to our uh, Discord server. And we can do this by copying the link that you'll find in the description as well. Copying the client ID up here from our bot, of our bot. Remove the client ID here and exchange it for hours, hit enter. And then your own bot will ask you to be added to a server. You just use, choose whatever server you like, hit authorize, check the capture. Then you can close this and you'll get the message that your bot just joined your server. You open up Discord, go to your server, and you'll find an offline bot called however you called it. So now we can try the bot by typing node bot, hit enter. You see he's logged in and in this example, we have this little event, client on message, which means whenever somebody types a message into any channel of your Discord server, he'll read it, check if the message content is ping, and if that's the case, he'll reply with pong. You can just try this by typing ping, and he'll answer pong. All right, so as you can see, we created our very own first Discord bot, which reacts to the message ping. And in the console tells you when it's logged in, which it does right here, by the way. If you liked the video, I'd appreciate a comment or a like. And if you have any wishes or requests for something that you would like to learn to teach your bot, let me know it in the comments below. Well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.